Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Mountaineers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. Throws it to coverage, just picked off. The 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. Splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. You know, after that last turnover by this offense, the momentum has really turned in this game. And right now, you got to believe this defense is going to come out and play with a lot of intensity and a lot of aggression. Nothing going on that one. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards. But the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a D of six on the play. That'll bring up third and four. He's to the 40. Caught by the sophomore. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First down, Graham. Brought down to the 39-yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. That brings up second and nine. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. He fires this one. Swatted away. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Tenth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Mike Sick, 33. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing on their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. Check three, check three, check three. Heading for the corner, and it's caught. And he shoved out of bounds at about the seven-yard line. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. They 
They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Arizona is up by four. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. They go with the run. Good outside run there. He's pushed out of bounds around the 48-yard line. There's a fumble picked up by the defense. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. That's our ball. Yeah! That's our ball, baby. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. 33. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Ready. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Number six brings him down at the 34 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Tackle made at the 23. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Steps out of bounds around the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He's tackled at the 16. Gain of six on the play. That makes it third and three. Pulls it in, but he can't stay in bounds, and that'll be a loss. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. West Virginia yet set to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. Makes it to the 22-yard line. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Tackle around the 31-yard line. Arizona is up one. Slides down. out to around the 48. He makes it to the 48-yard line. That makes it second and 10. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. The Wildcats lead it by one.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. They run it left. He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds around the 29-yard line. Arizona with a one-point lead. Here's a throw and it's almost picked. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Up about five yards on the option. Touchdown, Arizona. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming in, but they just couldn't stop it. And he adds the extra point. A 14-play, 79-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is... They're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He steps out around the 28-yard line. Pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. Excellent open field tackle. So on third down, they come away with a first down on the option play. Third and short, and the defense almost had them stopped, but the offense got just enough to move the chains. Makes the grab and steps out right away. And he hits him hard at the 42 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Almost picked off. 
from the 42-yard line. It's second down. He flings it. That close to being intercepted. This is the eighth play of this drive. He airs it out. Can't connect. Intended that time for the wide receiver. Sometimes the ball just kind of sails on you. I'm sure he wouldn't mind having that one back. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is up. No good. He pushed it to the right. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Arizona holds an eight-point advantage. He has some room, and they make the stop at about the 49. Some time and he's tackled at the 35. That's a game of six on the play. That will make it second and four. And he's stopped behind the line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. So we're looking at another third down here. Just throws this one away. Arizona is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up. And he nails the long field goal. like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 10. Brought down at the 13-yard line. West Virginia's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. From their own 13-yard line, second down. And he throws it away. with a carry. Knocked out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From their own 32-yard line, first down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. He picked up around three yards on the draw play. West Virginia is going to use their first time out of the half here. On the reception, look out. Nobody there. That's a team of 19 on the ball. First down.
It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. Three down, three down. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. He's looking for his man. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Illegal touching. Offense. That penalty drives them back, Still and they're shooting down. themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. The Mountaineers use their second timeout. That makes it third and 11. Flips it, middle to the running back. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Trying to get a head start there. False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. They line up in a field goal formation. There is no way he can make this field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good. I don't believe what I just saw. Well, Brad, I didn't realize he had that strong a leg. I didn't think there was any way he was going to make that kick. 17-9, Arizona. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Arizona is up by eight. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. The Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down at the 49-yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. And they got it. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Going deep, lays it out there. No, incomplete. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 17-9, Wildcats. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both passing games have struggled in the first half, David, and a lot of times you think of defensive backs being finesse type athletes. A lot of physicality shown in that first half. No doubt about it. And, and defensive backs, the ones that we like the best, are the ones that can play on an island and play extremely physical because most offenses are predicated around timing and rhythm. And you see quarterbacks all the time in seven on sevens and all summer getting with their wide receivers to try to get that perfect timing. And if you can jam them up at the line of scrimmage, you can mess up that timing. And doing a good job of that, playing close to the line of scrimmage, you know, not letting those receivers get too much wide open spaces and not giving away those easy completions. It's been a clinic so far the first half. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Red Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23. We're about set to start things up again. 
Arizona up by eight. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Number 11, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 23. to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That'll bring up third and six. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle around the 45-yard line. Around the 50-yard line. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 50-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. Defense lines up in a five-wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. He's hit and taken down. Arizona holds an eight-point advantage. He passes it. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 13. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. Fights forward to about the 13. No gain on the play. That brings up fourth and three. Arizona can make this a two possession game with this field goal. Kicks up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Green nine, green nine. That'll bring up second and three. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it first and ten. Mike, check 33. 33. Alert! 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 Yeah, cat, cat, cat! And he's tackled right away. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. That brings him second and five. And he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. And he's hit immediately. And they make the stop at the 44. Gaining five yards. 
That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 44. Watch the out. Watch the out. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. 648. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. Mark check 33. 33. Check the outs, check the outs, check the outs. Check three, check three. He's into the open field. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Gets to about the 11 yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Gaining four yards. That makes it first and goal. And he is drilled at the 12. That brings him second and goal. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Roger, Roger. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. Check, check, check. Alert, predator, predator. That's a great tackle at the 20 yard line. That's a loss of eight yards. That makes it 30 more. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Three down, three down. Mark check 33. 33. Throws it and oh, he dropped it. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. They'll line it up for the field goal. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. They'll bring him down at the 28. We're about set to start things up again. Arizona is up by eight. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they finally bring him down at the 31-yard line. Throws this one away. From the 31 yard line. Second down. Hey, check Mike 47. Check Mike 47. Fires out to his receiver. Touchdown, Wildcats. <laughs> This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. 
West Virginia's come out of the locker room after the halftime, and they got a whole different approach going here offensively. Yeah, I think the one thing I'm recognizing is just more about the execution. I think they're, they're doing a good job of sticking to the fundamentals of their game plan, but I think they're doing a better job of executing that game plan and helping them out. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Catches it, and that's all. That's a game six on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Hey, watch the screen, watch the screen. That's three down and one to go. Arizona's up by 15. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Well, they've got the lead, and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. Excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. He's out to the 30. Makes it to the 34. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 35. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Fourth down. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Let's make these babies cry. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's good for him. You don't want that? That makes it second and two. Down around the 48 yard line. Gain of eight on the play. First down. Roger, Roger. Hey, check 533. Check 533. We gotta get the ball. Gain the ball. I need to go. Check, 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 check. They'll bring him down at the 36. Call the game of 12 yards. Don't say nothing. That makes it first and 10. 33. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. Big play, and it's first and goal. 
That makes it first and goal. From the five-yard line, second down. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. Looking for the corner, and he makes it out to about the five-yard line. Well, these days, you've got safeties playing up close to the line of scrimmage, almost like a fourth linebacker. The only way that you can keep them from cheating up is to take some chances downfield. Throws over the middle. It's intercepted. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. First down. And as they come up to the line, they're going to be in the shadow of their own goal post. I think they'll try to get a few yards in the ground here and get a little bit of breathing room. And he's taken down at the five. Less than three minutes in the game. Virginia just took their first time out. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Makes it to the 24. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. West Virginia is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Big opening. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They get about four on that keeper. The Mountaineers using their third and final timeout. Gives it up the gut. Tackled after a decent pickup. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Makes it out to about the 43. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Roger, Roger. 31's the mic. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Stay on the screen. Gets out to around the 48. This one's all but wrapped up. The Wildcats get the win, 27 to 12. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.